Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to a quick commentary on my thoughts of Medieval Engineers before its launch on Steam. So, most of this is likely to change in the coming weeks after its launch. Hopefully, they're doing another Thursday update, well, updating every Thursday. Or they could change it up and change the date, like Friday. That'd actually be kind of fun. Update of Space Engineers on Thursday, and then get something on Friday. So my biggest pet peeve of what they've announced is the lack of weapons, mainly archery and bows. So archery and bows have actually a quite significant role in the medieval era, especially when protecting yourself against a siege. Most of the siege weapons are actually made to counter archery and with taking out archery if they actually do so in the final product, hopefully they don't, that will remove practically all utility, well nearly all utility of siege engines which are trebuchets and catapults as such. So archery was mainly used when it protects against people just walking up to your wall and mining through it. If you have a bow that's quite that's a whole lot easier to protect your wall instead of making a siege engine that throws boulders straight down. Siege engines aren't good at killing people, mainly those ones were fire throwing. I've done some research a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away of a whole bunch of siege weaponry and the history behind it, but that'll probably be coming in a later video. I used a really cool source, which I'll probably, it's a book, read it. It goes off and lists all these different siege engines and advances in siege weaponry, including the giant human picker, which was a claw attached to a revolving arm, which actually relates back to Socrates, I believe, and his boat lifters. I think those are also included in that book. But basically, archery was used as a main defense mechanism, and without that, you can practically walk up to somebody's wall and just keep and mine straight through it. Siege engines are good for destroying uh, infrastructure and collapsing stuff on civilians. Not really, I guess, knocking down walls and penetration, but that can be done through undermining, which I can go into as soon as I get my hands on the game, which depending on how long they go with this pre-game phase, we'll have to see. So that's about it, mainly listing off our tree and how it really needs to be in this game or else it elim eliminates all counter sieging and the ability to actually kill people instead of just killing the siege engines killing your attackers, not just their siege engines. So that's about it, and I'll see you in the next one.